Okay, this is Mick. This is tutorial number eight. Um, setting the saved home positions and uh, calling or recalling the same home positions. So what I'm going to do is turn on my laser. The laser's on. I'm going to jog to the corner of my... Uh, and this is just an example, of course. So I'm going to jog to the corner of my jig. So the laser is exactly on the corner of the jig. I'm going to click on laser X0, Y0. So that is my X0, Y0 for the jig. If I also want the height, I click on touch top. And I use my Z pad. So if I type in Z0, it goes to the top of my material. Okay, I'm going to take you back to the screen. So we were just a minute ago on the X0Y position and Z, if you remember, the bit was actually on top of the corner of my jig, just for example. So I go to settings, home position, and I get say get position, so I got the position, I put in the name jig, it's under H1, and I say OK. So let me raise the router bit up a bit. I move my router around, so I've finished with my job. I set X0, Y0 here for my next job. But tomorrow I need to load my jig again. So I put my jig on the table, put dowels in there, screws in there. I go to settings. I got H1 here highlighted. I can say go to. There, there are a couple of options. One of them is just go to. So now it moves it across. It moves, also moves across the X0, Y0, so we are back at zero again. The only thing it doesn't do, and I think this is a precaution from WinCNC, it will not go down to Z0. I saved it at Z0, but it's 4.77 above Z0. So if I really wanted to, I could type in Z0, and it would physically go back down. If I showed you the table, the CNC, it is actually on the corner, just like we set it. So that is one option. Let me raise the bit up again. And this is probably the safest option. I move it around. I set X0, Y0 somewhere else. It's set there. So if I need to go back to my jig position, I can click on settings home position or I can just type in G0 if I know it's home position 1 home position 1 the router goes to the position but it also brings the X and Y with it again my router is 4.77 above the table if I wanted I could bring it back down again Z0 And the other option is, which I don't use, you can do a G53 instead of a... So what you do is you type in G53P1 instead of H1 and hit enter and it'll also... It'll also go to that position but it actually won't put the X and Y's there but since I already had the X and Y's there it does. Again, you can see it will not go down to Z0. That is just a safety from WinCNC. So, this is how you save the positions, and this is how you recall the positions. Saved positions, you, you uh, move it to where you want it to be, you click Get Position, you type in a name that 
just just for you jig in this case and click OK that way you have saved it then to recall uh, to recall it you could either go to settings uh, home position and click the one you want in this case we want this one go to or you can um, type in G0H1 or G53P1 uh, again the only difference is, is the G53P1 does not set uh, G92s for X and Y hope this helps bye